Hi, he's Rob and I'm Dan and we're going to be doing a documentary on the slave trade. Hope you enjoy it. Slaves were taken from Africa to, West Min to the West Indies. They were taken from their friends and families and were forced to work on sugar plantations and didn't get any pay. Did you know a huge part of the slave trade was the slave triangle? Do you know that ships went from London, Bristol and Liverpool carrying goods such as muskets, gunpowder and tobacco? They, then they went to the West Indies where they were... No, then they went to Africa where they, they would collect the slave trade. The slave, the slave trade. And then they go to the West Indies. trade was a harsh business where people from Africa were taken from their friends and families and were forced to work on sugar plantations. They didn't get any pay and were under harsh conditions. Ships went from London, Bristol and Liverpool carrying goods such as muskets, tobacco and gunpowder. Then they went to Africa to collect the slaves, then to the West Indies to sell them. So Rob, how did they catch slaves? Well, are these guys called slave catchers who are armed. They were Africans themselves, so they are traitors to the country. Then they go to villages, take over, and then they take the slaves to ships and swap them in for goods that had been bought from Europe. Everyone hated them, and no one wanted to be them, apart from the people who were them, got lots of money. Slaves taken, like millions of them, from Africa all the way to the West Indies. Well, all these slaves were packed on to one large ship. And did you know the boat owners got paid £5,000 per boatload of slaves? And sometimes there were rebellions on the ship by the slaves. Although the slaves couldn't get anywhere because, obviously, they had never learnt how to sail a boat before in their life. And Sometimes they had to turn back in the middle of voyage because of storms or malfunctions to the, sli to the ship. So Rob, how did they sell the slaves when they got to the West Indies? Well, after the slaves took the voyage over the seas, they would then be taken to auctions and sold for really low prices. This allowed the plantation owners to get lots of them, which they needed for their sugar plantation. After the auctions, the slaves would be taken to a sugar plantation where they would work for no money whatsoever. Oh yeah. Also, they did. The slaves did get some food and clothes and at least a roof over the head, but this still didn't make life any better for them. So, what happened if the slaves didn't do what the ma their masters said? Well, the slaves were severely punished for running away or disobeying their masters. Because the slaves had no rights, owner could do whatever they want with them. This means badly punish them. They were either put in the shackles, whipped, put on a treadmill, or even being hung if it was that bad. 
I didn't really get the bit about the running away. I mean, what would they do? Just keep running forever? Slaves who ran away were punished, but the lucky ones would get free, and they would set up little camps called maroons. Lots of slaves would head to Saint Domingue, a, a safe country for slaves, ruled by slaves. If slaves earned enough money, they would, could buy freedom. <laughs> Obviously the slave trade isn't around now, so how did it stop? Well, there are people called abolitionists, like Alado Equiano. He wrote his order autobiography about what he did, his life as a slave. This really caught the attention of the public, and then in 1807, slave trade was abolished. Oh yeah, but I also heard that in 26 years later, all slaves were set free from their owners. Slave trade hasn't really stopped today. It's still going. I suppose. But I don't think slave slavery will never ever end. I suppose. Well, I learned lots. Did you? Yeah. Thanks for listening. We hope you enjoyed the show. Bye! Bye.